Night empties the city streets. The crowds have gone home. The traffic is still. But through the darkness cut the headlamps of a car, an emergency ambulance speeding to a hospital. For while you sleep, another side of the city is wide awake. Men and women who dare not close their eyes. The oldest alarm in the world has gone out. A life is in danger. It's the answer to a call for help as aid dashes through the streets of London on a new errand of mercy. There's no time to be lost. Once every eight minutes, every hour of every day, the onward press of London's traffic yields passage for these flying squads in white. After 54 days in Middlesex Hospital, he was coming out and returning home. When has there been a man to compare with Winston Churchill? He's a living proof that when a patient has plenty of spirit, the doctor's work is easy. How glad we all are that Sir Winston Churchill is home again. special kind of job in the London Ambulance Service. Work at it. Look for our advertisements in the national press. There's certainly nothing cushy about driving an ambulance. Basically the driver is expected to drive fast and accurately in all sorts of road and traffic conditions in a vehicle that has no better handling qualities than the average bread van. This new skill of cardiac care just tops it, it's the icing on the cake. It's going to lift us out this image that we've had in the past years of being a manual worker and just purely transporting people to hospital. Now the fact is that we're going to actually carry out, uh, as we've been doing for quite a long while, but in, in more extended skills, you know, pre-hospital care. It's all change in the London Ambulance Service. New fast response vehicles to beat the traffic. A new computer system installed at central control. Higher levels of paramedic training to save lives. And new uniforms for a new image. <laughs> <laughs> 